So Elon Musk has bought Twitter, and now we are dealing with the fallout from that. All the weirdos reeing, crying, pissing themselves, losing followers, you know, licking toilet. Oh, wait, that was after the 2016 election. So these Hollywood assholes on Twitter and these ultra leftist broadcasters, news media, they can't handle it because they think Elon Musk is hijacked by the right wing which is really funny considering he's nowhere near a conservative which neither am i but anyway this is funny people are melting down and they're the kind of people you want to see have meltdowns the kind of people that deserve to have meltdowns because they're garbage tier humans in the first place but let's talk about this offer that elon musk has from a rancher in texas to give him a hundred acres free if he moves Twitter's headquarters from, this footage will, you know, let you know where Twitter headquarters is, where it would be moving from. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, monkeys, roll the footage. Moss Eisler Spaceport. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. We must be cautious. Now some say that when I walk on the mission, you was almost 10 feet. We don't usually cover articles from the dailywire.com, but this pertains to Elon Musk and Twitter. Hey, what's going on? Etep Wakui and back here with you. Another video. I know another one today, a third one. What did you guys do to get so lucky to have so much of me? I don't know, but here we go. Texas landowner offers Elon Musk 100 acres of free land for new Twitter headquarters. Yes, that's right. A we're going to get into this article, but I, I find it funny when I, because I had to look it up and I looked up where Twitter headquarters was located and it's in San Francisco. Next. Next. So here we go. We're going to get into this article. One Texas landowner is offering Elon Musk 100 acres of free land as an incentive for him to move Twitter's headquarters to the Lone Star State. Jim Schwertner, CEO of Schwertner Farms, has offered up the prime real estate just 38 miles north of Austin. Elon Musk, move Twitter to Schwertner, Texas. 38 miles north of Austin in Williamson County. And we will give you 100 acres for free, Schwertner tweeted. There you can see the tweet right there. Schwertner Farms, with more than 20,000 acres in Williamson and Bell Counties, also shared details regarding his new offer with the Austonian. We think it's a good idea, especially when you've got Samsung coming to Taylor, Schwertner told the outlet. I mean, this area is exploding and we want to be part of this explosive growth. Three of Musk's other companies, Tesla, SpaceX, and The Boring Company, are all operating in Texas. Yeah, there's a huge influx of businesses to Texas uh, and Florida. Now, I wonder why that could be, right? Hmm? Think about regulations, uh, masks, employment, things like that, mandates. You're not gonna find those things in Texas and Florida much the way you will in the other liberal hive mind collective areas of the country. I just think with all the stuff he's done, he evidently likes Texas. Right? Or he wouldn't have moved from California, Schwertner said during the interview. And I want to be part of this plan if he'll come visit with us. Texas Republican Governor Greg Abbott first invited Musk to move Twitter from California to the Lone Star State after the billionaire's purchase of the social media platform on Monday. Abbott shared the invitation on Monday evening after the announcement of Musk's offer to purchase Twitter had been approved. Yeah, this is a huge deal because we're already seeing these weirdos like Keith Olbermann, Mark Hamill, all complain about losing followers uh, in the thousands, which is great. Hi, doggo. And it just shows the abundant hypocrisy of the left that they're unable to accept the fact that they've basically been beaten at their own game on this field in this battle they've been beaten at their own game and it's really funny to see them have that much trouble processing this because they're getting exactly what they deserve Holy shit, what you fucking deserve. and i've seen a lot of people well the right wing think elon musk is with them i have no delusions illusions or thoughts that elon musk is in any way a conservative i'm not a conservative I do think he's a common sense free speech advocate and he's also a meme lord, which makes me believe that this guy really does believe in free speech. You know, the tweet was five years ago and so he said, how much is Twitter? And somebody said, why? He says, I might buy it. Now here we are five years later 
and Elon Musk, you know, owns Twitter. So these people cannot handle when something they love gets gets not not even destroyed because Elon Musk is not going to destroy Twitter contrary to what these weirdos will have you believe all these Hollywood idiots will have you believe he just needs to open up the algorithms and let certain people back on the platform who were taken off unjustly by Twitter in their previous regime you know under Jack Dorsey and now Mr. I don't understand memes uh, Agrawal so this this is a non-problem but of course, the left exacerbates every situation and you know makes it a problem. Wants to lash out and then play victim. We've seen this song and dance a hundred times. So here's the tweet from Greg Abbott to Elon Musk. Uh, Aaron Mellon, a spokesman for California Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom, told Cal Matters, even after Elon Musk announced Tesla's move to Texas, they expanded in California, and Elon has started all of his businesses in California, presumably because he knows this is where innovation and talent lives. Shut up, bitch! Governor Abbott should focus on the people and businesses whose employees feel threatened and attacked and intimidated by his misogynistic and anti LGBT. <laughs> anti alphabet agenda. There's no anti alphabet agenda. There's anti child grooming laws that are being put in place. You sick fucks. Alright? So stop with the. It's anti. Stop trying to. You know, smoothly push the the weirdos, the child abusers, in with the gays and the lesbians and the bisexual folks, the normal folks. It doesn't work that way. Though there are no announced plans regarding a move, it hasn't stopped speculation from spreading. It's no surprise there is speculation about Elon Musk moving Twitter's headquarters to one of the most fastest growing metropolitan areas in the country, especially after having already announced Tesla is relocating here. Laura Huffman, president and CEO of the Austin Chamber of Commerce, told KXAN TV Monday. It's no secret we have much to offer companies looking to expand or relocate their offices. We have several key components driving our meteoric success, she added. The potential move would not be the first social media platform to come to Texas. Meta, formerly known as Facebook, has added a new major office location in downtown Austin. It's Facebook, and Meta is stupid. And the Metaverse is an even stupider idea that I'm not even going to get into in this video because it'd take too long. Twitter's current headquarters in San Francisco reopened in March following nearly two years of working from home during the pandemic. When it reopened, CEO Parag Agrawal announced an open policy regarding in-office work. What? I'm not reading all that garbage nonsense. But so he's basically telling people that they can continue to work from home. Musk also created a poll prior to buying Twitter to ask users convert Twitter San Francisco headquarters to homeless shelter since no one shows up anyway. Yep. More than 1.5 million votes were cast with more than 91 of respondents answering yes. Musk later wrote about the idea. I'm serious about this one, by the way. I love it. I love it. This man is so based. It is amazing. This probably riled up a lot of the Twitter idiots. You know, and they get all salty about it. Well, you can't do that to our offices. Make it a homeless shelter. I thought you people were tolerant and caring. You know, why wouldn't you want homeless people to have somebody where to li somewhere to live, especially if you're working from home? Selfish fucks. So there it is, folks. Elon Musk, the offer has been made to him. A hundred acres free to build a new headquarters for Twitter, move it out of the poop infested, Nancy Pelosi infested hellhole that is San Francisco to Texas, you know, where you'll probably have to pay less taxes, uh, have to deal with less poop on the sidewalks. You know, there's that whole border thing, but you know, we can only do so much at one time here. I, I think this would be a very shrewd move and a very smart move by Musk. And the reason I say that is if you want your company to function and it to actually be a platform for people to have a voice from all walks of life, all political, religious, uh, you know, backgrounds, that this is the move to make right here because this will shake up all the weirdos inside of Twitter. And, you know, there's been reports of people already, you know, plotting against him that work there. And it's so, so, so comic book villainy to do that. You know, they, I heard uh, one of these news media outlets called Elon Musk a comic book villain uh, for buying Twitter. But if it was Mark Zuckerberg buying it, they would have applauded him and acted like he was a conquering hero. You don't, you don't understand what I'm saying? Because the door only swings one way with these folks that are against Elon Musk buying Twitter. They don't want that. 
They don't want you to have a voice if you dissent from their ideological weirdness, their propaganda, their bullshit. If you take a step away from that, you're automatically the enemy. There's no middle ground with people like that. When people want you dead, when people hate you for what you believe in, there's no room for compromise there. So Elon Musk is going to succeed. I mean, he's he's a proven success as it is. But the reason I say that is because he's a businessman. He knows how this is going to work out. He knows what to do. And he is going to do whatever the hell he wants to do. I mean, the guy's got his own rockets. You know what I mean? He's selling reusable rocket technology. The man knows business. He knows how to invent. He knows innovation, tech. This is his wheelhouse. So to have somebody like that who is a free speech advocate in charge of it again is excellent. I can only hope that this really does purge Twitter of a lot of the, you know, blue haired, you know, side shaved, intersectional land well feminists, cucks, soy boys, SJWs, and otherwise racists. So that's it folks. Those are my thoughts. I think this is a good move. Elon buying Twitter. I think it'd be even better if he moved it to Texas. I think it would only benefit him. But it's a cost benefit analysis thing and he's gonna make the right decision there because that's his wheelhouse, not mine. So what do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Do all the YouTube things, not just for me, but for your other favorite YouTubers as well. And that's it. I'm Etep Queen of The Place to Be Reviews. I've been here with all these. If I don't see you, have a great day, a pleasant tomorrow, and I'll catch you. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot to tell you. Uh, do you want to send us stuff? Because this is how you send us stuff. We have a P.O. Box now. That's right. P.O. Box 924 Prudenville, Michigan, 48657. If you have anything you'd like to send in to the place to be reviews, that's where it goes, and that's where your packages will be coming from as well when I ship things out to you, my Kazooians. <laughs>